Shares of 197 communications, parent of fintech giant Paytm, have slumped 40% in two days, erasing over $2 billion in market value. The losses came on the back of the RBI ticket that ordered its subsidiary, Paytm Payments Bank, to halt nearly all banking transactions from the 1st of March. Paytm Payments Bank is a key banking partner for Paytm and houses all of its 330 million wallet accounts and some 150 million plus UPI users. The payment bank also has a 17% market share in Fastag toll payments. It reportedly issued the third highest number of Fastags among issuer banks in November and December 2023. With the likely winding down of the wallet and Fastag business, analysts expect a material hit to Paytm's payment revenues, which make nearly half of its total revenue. Analysts at Jefferies estimate direct impact on wallets and payment to hit 20 to 30 percent of EBITDA. Lending business, which is 22 percent of Paytm's revenue and is separate from its payments bank, can also have a reputational impact of another 20 to 25 percent on overall EBITDA. The stock, analysts said, will remain weak ahead amid risks of foreign selling. The RBI strictures clearly point towards a corporate governance issue and some FIs will surely pull out. Currently, the down circuit and volumes are not giving them the opportunity, but expect selling pressure to be there in the short to medium term. They had managed to get the narrative right in the recent months, which was also supported by the performance. So the stock did well in the last one year. But now with this RBI directive, the carefully recreated image of Paytm 2.0 has again taken a beating. This will have an effect on the earnings over the next few quarters, thus derailing the profitability projections. Those who can possibly hold for long term, I would suggest hold with an expectation that management will walk the talk. I think others who don't have a view beyond uh, the next couple of months should actually look to book out whenever there is a bounce post opening of the circuit, which hopefully should be on Monday. JP Morgan, Jefferies, JM Financial and Motilal Oswal have downgraded Paytm and slashed the target prices down to up to 500 rupees. The stock, however, has already cracked below this level. Technically, it can fall towards the 430 rupees level before any possible rebound suggests monthly charts. The stock will need to surpass and hold the 500 rupees mark firmly to counter the current downtrend chart show. Paytm expects the RBI move to have a worst case impact of 300 to 500 crore rupees on its annual EBITDA. Notably, it closed FY23 with a negative annual EBITDA of 176 crore rupees on its books. Thus, the stock will remain under pressure in the medium term, while its plan of moving all user accounts from the payments bank to other banks will be eyed by investors. Today, on the 5th of February, equity markets will take cues from global peers and quarter three earnings of banking heavyweight State Bank of India. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. She's working her way to the corner office. Business Standard.